And one Sierra Madre resident agreed to talk with us on camera about getting ripped off at the pump. Christopher Adde says he's been a longtime Sierra Madre resident and that he was shocked to learn that he'd been a victim of credit card fraud. Thanks for going on camera with us. Good evening, Sunita. Good a evening. Um, well, when did you hear about this? How did, how did this all take place? Um, just, um, just after Christmas, we had a call from a friend who said we should check mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, she had checked her account and found that this amount was missing. Um, so we did exactly that. We checked and lo and behold, yes, there was an amount of uh, $142 removed from our account and credited to EVG. Do you ever spend that kind of money at the gas station? Um, you want a lot of gas for that. <laughs> I know gas prices or, are high, but... <laughs> yeah, a lot of candy bars. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> no. $40, $42, though, is not an unusual amount, so it would have been easy to have missed the one on the, you know, Absolutely. middle, because your eye would be trained for it. On. Right, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so what was the next step for you what, when you found out, yes, indeed, I am a part of this? Um, we immediately got hold of the debit card company. Mm -hmm. um, and alerted them and they said fine you know we'll uh, deal with that and uh, recredit it which they have now done oh good so from what i gather a lot of the banks have been very good about this and actually uh, recredited uh, where people have informed them and, and how did you feel when you found out you were a part of all of this uh, it's a small town we trust everybody yeah. your trust is gone that's how i feel about it you know, and of course, it's a pa pa more paperwork to deal with, reports, etc. So, so, you know, especially a place like Sierra Madre, you know, where you probably know a lot of your neighbors as well. And everybody knows everybody, and everybody's friend, pretty much. And does this put you on guard a little bit more when either new businesses come in, or I think it will do. Mm -hmm. I certainly think it will do. Yes. Well, you know, I hope uh, that small town uh, good neighbor field doesn't leave Sierra Madre, even though something like this happened. It's, it's pretty huge that it's, you know, involving Secret Service and the FBI. And yes, yes, indeed. Uh, <laughs> one tends not to think about Secret Service in Sierra Absolutely. Madre. C can I just update you a little on some figures? So I was in the police station today okay. um, for on, on some other business, not criminal. Okay. Um, <laughs> And um, I actually asked them what the latest was on this, and they said that up to the end of Sunday night, there were 477 wow. uh, people affected, uh, and it was 136,000 now. So that's kind of an update. And, um, and while I was in there, there were three people still reporting it. So it's going to go on. It's Definitely. a story that's going to run. Well, especially as people start looking back to their statements back in June, July as well. It. People are still on vacation. Absolutely. You know? Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us, and uh, we hope you'll be back for better news. Indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. How Governor Brown's proposed state budget might affect you when we come back. You're watching CCN, Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood. Don't go away.